Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trade and we strongly advise you to be educated before you start using a real money. Uh, today was an amazing day uh, on the Precision Auto Trade uh, and uh, the TI7 Auto Trade. Uh, on the other channel, we closed most of those trades before even uh, 12 o'clock and uh, we will uh, go through some of them. Uh, the precision auto trade is, uh, you can trade uh, with the trend and it reverse. You can scalp, you can sw swing trading. And we're gonna show different time frame whether you are a scalper or a swing trading, or you wanna trade with the trade and there is an option you can trade with the trend and you can reverse in the same time. So here is a YM <clears throat> scalping uh, on a <clears throat> on a seven range. Uh, for the tick lover, this is 170 tick. It's uh, been a very consistent. If you notice, this auto trade was done at 1020. This auto trade was done around 1020 as well, and it is 170 tick. Is doing extremely well and I like it when the auto trade we started around 9 30 we were done by 10 10 20 10 30 somewhere around there most of them finished this is an ES three minutes was done around 11 30 beautiful very nice done and over with The three minute, uh, uh, this one here, we were running it on the other channel. Uh, we have a live channel. You can see the link at the bottom. And we closed at 3,300. Actually, it was almost 4,000. But also, we were done with it around 1036. Uh, the CL uh, done normal trading on the 10 range took a couple of trades hit the daily target uh, the ym this is a beautiful trade on the ym if you notice how <clears throat> was this, uh, taking those trade and we have a very nice dive took that trade and back reverse to that trade it is a perfect entry perfect exit Perfect uh, entry and exit, 24.95, beautiful. I mean, this is really, really nice. Uh, the CL45 uh, uh, second, uh, it, it is also took a very nice trade. One, two, and three. And those are excellent. And you can see after that, the market was flat. You cannot auto trade in, the, in those area. You cannot auto trade. This is a disaster here for auto trade and any kind of auto trade. Uh, let's look at the smaller time frame, which we will be using a lot from now till Christmas. Beautiful entry, exit done by 12 o'clock on the 30 second chart 1975 Russell 19 second scalping many trades but finally made it I'm not a Russell trader so but we have some traders they are Russell trading uh, CL uh, one tra one time one entry one trade and done at 10 30 Six range Russell, also scalping, same auto trade, 1290. Three minute ES, 3100. The three minutes today did very well. All of them, they are above 3000. NASDAQ, 30, 39 second, 1700, done by 1015, it was over. 
he asked 28 second 1050 CL 22nd we're gonna be using a lot of seconds so because there is no movement in the market for, because of the holiday and next month so that will be a brilliant idea to use a smaller time frame get the precision entry precision exit and get it over with is 1460 the Nasdaq 3 range also we ran this in the room for a few minutes and then we have the CL 600 ticks one time one trade over with perfect entry perfect exit done Nasdaq 3 minutes actually today the, it was a little trouble with the Nasdaq at the early stage and then start trending I think it's around uh, 11 o'clock the Nasdaq start trending and uh, we have the ES 51 second CL we covered three range we covered uh, ES three range is amazing if you wanna if you are a range lover beautiful entries one losing trade nailed it 2200 on the three range this is amazing done by 1030 it is a very powerful auto trade does not require any filter easy to maintain easy to optimize easy to tweak if you put your head together with it over a weekend you should understand this auto trade in and out over a weekend two minutes 26.75 four range cl i mean this is a very small time frame for cl there we go you nailed it and uh, the es three minutes also nailed it at 12.50 if you notice all those auto trades uh that were uh, uh done by uh most of them before 12 o'clock uh let's just take a quick look on the ti7 i don't want to drag every chart down the ti7 is a little bit more advanced has more entries more filters you can cut it the way you want it to trade whether you want to be aggressive you want a conservative uh you can trade as many contracts as you want like the precision you can trade as many contracts as you want uh, you can uh, scalp swing trading use it on any kind of instrument even if it is a weird instrument not a basic instrument like CL ES 30 year treasury bond <laughs> we have some traders are using it for all kind of weird stuff I don't normally trade but uh, here it is uh, the CL on the 55 second you can see how the trades are done because here you have more uh, variety of filters nasdaq 38 second <clears throat> and uh, this is wonderful i like this one i noticed today one two three and it is done on the nasdaq 38 second i don't usually show renko bar i'm very much against renko bar but uh, i'm using a normal renko bar i'm not using even our renko bar just out of curiosity this one here it is included in the ti7 this kind of uh, is a symmetry entry which we do have one of the entries uh, on the uh, on the ti7 and it can do a pretty good job and you can filter it as much as you want with this but it can do a very good job you know taking the trade opposite direction you can filter it from here and it's just showing you as an example here but uh, i'm not a, a Renko lover everybody knows i don't hide it i think uh, i have a different thinking about it uh, cl8 range here it is eight range is a really basic uh standard time frame uh, eight range for es nasdaq down no not down zones nasdaq i prefer 10 range than eight but es cl russell the basic instruments they are good for eight range they are in a way the eight range is a standard especially for cl eight range or six range if you want to tighten the nut up a little bit usually uh, the CL is very good for six range or eight range. Some of them they use seven range. 
you know, for a, for a CL678, it depends on the auto trade you have. And NASDAQ, five minutes, 3,000. That's very good. NASDAQ, five minutes, 3,000. And then uh, we have the ES. Uh, 2000 based on five minutes, two minutes, 2800. Six range, uh, Russell, uh, 1285. CL three minutes, 1480. ES 14 second, 1000. Hit it. And this was beautiful trade. I love it. It's 2000. Straight shot done at 10 15. uh es five minutes 14 60 14 sorry guys after 16 hours work you know now the bars start dense in front of my eye es one minute 22.75. cl nine range again 13.40. so the i mean in the older days we used to use a lot uh, the range for uh, auto trade and the cl and uh, usually they do a good job, but then when we got advanced with the system, when you have an advanced system, it's no longer the range is the priority for us because the minute can predict much better uh, trends and filters. Uh, let's just have a quick look on the scalper. On the scalper today, the NASDAQ, the 40, uh, 495, 40, 495 ticks, took a lot, little beat in here and then when the market was trending did very well uh, on the nasdaq 10 range was much more comfortable trades on the 10 range than the take uh, 1000 and then uh, we have the ym was very comfortable trading 290 and it was very it was not even one losing trade this is a total different auto trade than the TI7 and the TI7 is a total different auto trade than the precision auto trade. Uh, eight range ES did extremely well and I like this kind of auto trade where there is time between each trade. It's not just going left and right. It's waiting on the precise time to take an entry and uh, I don't care if there is an hour between each. I can live with it as long as we can get somewhere, which it is an idea from now till the end of the year when the market is not moving to turn it on. You might take one or two trades. Normally those trades on the eight range, they are pretty very much accurate entry and avoiding the volatility or noises or flat market. A YM9 range also, you can see there is a big gap in timing between uh, each trade and uh, then stopped at 11.20. Uh, the same story on the 595 take. And if you look, there is a couple of trades when it was possible. And then there is time where there is nothing. And there we go find the door open, took a trade, and nailed 1200. This is a total different auto trade. And uh, this is uh, the precision. Uh, no, actually, uh, this one here also we are testing is on the uh, ranker bar for the TI-7 with the symmetry. And you can see this is very, and you can clean some of those entries, but uh, uh, it is for Renko CL and, and uh, nail every reversal actually. And uh, it is amazing. Uh, this one here on the TI-7, and um, we only have one auto trade runner right now on the Institutional auto trade, we will be covering that institutional auto trade uh, on uh, Monday for members only. So, 
actually there is a big variety of uh, auto trades for every situation, for every trader, for every experience and inexperience. For a guy have $2,000, to another guy have $200,000, to another guy have over $1 million in there. Uh, they're all fit and there is the proper tools for every person from the beginner to the experience to the rich guy, to the poor guy, to the mid-size trader. Uh, there is tools. We are only tool provider, but we're not miracles. I want to say thank you very much, folks, and uh, we wish you a pleasant evening. And uh, tomorrow it will not be YouTube uh, live tomorrow, uh, personal matter. But uh, we will see our members on Monday uh, for the institutional auto trade and we will continue on uh, YouTube on the other channel on Tuesday. Thank you very much. God bless you all and uh, see you and wish you all a nice weekend. Bye.